Welcome to Bay of Island Sailing Week 2021. My name is Sue Ellen and you are... Will, and we're here with Doyle Sales to present to you what is probably the best keelboat regatta in New Zealand. Absolutely, and considered one of the best keelboat regattas in the whole world, and we are super stoked to be here. There's a jam-packed three days of racing ahead. Everything kicks off, oh, in about an hour's time. Yeah, um, start time's been pushed because, you know, it gets a bit, little light in the bay uh, in the morning. But uh, the 116 boats out there will get some pretty epic racing, I would say. I think so. Split across uh, quite a number of divisions, including cruising, and then you've got the hardcore races. So we're going to be showing you everything from those beautiful cruising boats, the people are up here who are extended family holiday, and also those hardcore races. Yeah, and, and I guess also tomorrow night we've got to look forward to the beach party, which is when everyone can come together and, you know, talk about racing. And that is at Urupukupuka Island, thanks to Explore New Zealand. But right now, let's get stuck into the racing. On board Menace Yachting, the biggest menaces in the fleet here at Bay Week with Maddie Mitchell, spokesperson for the team. Maddie, you guys are yet to do a race. Are you a bit nervous? Oh, I don't know if nervous is the word, apprehensive possibly. Yeah, apprehensive, but we've done four days of good prep and looking forward to getting amongst it. All right, tell us about the new sails that you've got on board as well, thanks to Doyle Sails. Yeah, they've done a good job. We've been chipping away at them for the last three or four days and making them all mint, so we're pretty happy with that. So we'll go and sheet them on and see how they go today. I'm here with Celia Willison off Anarchy, and uh, they're in B Division. Now, Celia, can you talk us through today's racing? Um, today we had a bit of sea breeze coming around midday-ish and we got away and had two windward lures and then a bay race which was really nice. You know, what kind of sails um, were you using in, the, um, in, in this race? Um, we had our Doyle inshore main and our structured luff J1.5 also Doyles up today and an A2 and then a masthead zero. Um, Cableless Nasty Zero from Doyle. On you used that in a windward lure? Nah, on the, on the race in we had uh, a bit of a reach from nine pin around the corner and it really made a difference where you just couldn't get up high like the Nalgies who had Canton Keels. So we peeled onto our Masthead Zero and away we went. I'm with Rob from Wire. Now, how was today? Uh, not so good a day for us. Uh, the last race was a little bit better, but um, up until that, the racing was pretty close and we, you make a few mistakes and uh, you pay the price, I'm afraid. Okay, so as I understand it, you um, you got a new sail on board. How did that treat you today? Yeah, you know, we got the full uh, Doyle inventory of sails and J2, um, fresh out of the box. So, so um, next couple of days, looking at the forecast, uh, what are your thoughts? Very similar to today, I think, um, for tomorrow. Friday looks like a little bit more wind and... Um, yeah, it looks like it get, could get up quite a bit. Be a bit fun, bit of carnage. Well, I don't want the carnage, but the, but the fun part would be uh, yeah. good. These boats sort of light up and, and that downwind stuff and that. We had a really good uh, ride today with the uh, Doyle A4 on, um, reaching into Flat Island. So, oh, so you, you, there was enough breeze for an A4 then? Oh, for us it was, yeah, oh, yeah, well and truly. Good morning, I'm here with Graham Matthews on day two of the Island Racing Division. Now, I've got one question, are you taking the sailing seriously or the fridge trimming seriously? Oh, the fridge trimming uh, has been very serious, yeah, it's uh, pretty heavily loaded as you've probably noticed. So, what sails did you use yesterday? Um, so it was the J1 obviously up to 9 pin and then the A2 down and then we thought we were going to get the little we got a small code zero and we were struggling to get that up and then it became blowier and too tight and it was the uh, J1 all the way home and then got the Fraser Point and the A2 back to the finish, so yeah. It's a solid uh, solid future sail changes for the foredeck then? <laughs> yeah, and we, we, yeah, they did really well. I'm 
here with Tash and Jack from Picasso. They're in the island racing division. So have you been cruising up here for a few weeks? Yeah, lucky enough we left Christmas Day, I think it was. So yeah, we've had four weeks before we even got here. That, that, that must be a really tough time to spend that long in the bay. Oh, it's been, it's been so tough. We actually made it up to Whangaroa as well. So we've done a few miles, which is good. Oh, and, then, and what have you made at all? You've been swimming a lot? Uh, yeah, it, like maybe three days a week. Oh, that's not too bad. And you've been doing a lot of sailing as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what's your job on the boat? Um, mainly just cleaning up our own messes and making the bed. Oh, those adults can make a lot of mess, eh? especially when they get a few drinks in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> so, Tash, you're a Doyle boat. Yes, we are. What sails have you been running this year? Um, unfortunately, we've got, well, on the dock behind us, we've got our big code zero, which we can't put up in the no extras division. Um, but we had it up over the summer, and it's awesome. It's wicked. Um, but at the moment, we've just got the, we've got the main dinner, and we've got a staysail, which we haven't had out yet, and then our, our main, which we've had up as well. Yeah, that um, main looks like a you know, fair bit of kit. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's fairly large. We're wondering how much we'll have to roll down for Friday's forecast. Yeah, that's looking uh, a bit busy, um, but today looks relatively light. This would be probably pretty comfortable for that sort of racing. Yeah, not too bad. I think we were up around the high eights yesterday, boat speed, so yeah. Oh, nice. Well, it's uh, cool to see the families out, and um, yeah, have a great day. <laughs>Hey, so I'm here on Apache with Will, and uh, he's partway through some sort of uh, repair. So, can you talk us through what you're actually up to? Oh yeah, um, no, I'm just doing a few adjustments to the um, outall in the main here. Just uh, checking it. There's going to be a bit of a windy day tomorrow, so we're just checking our straps and lines, and just uh, having a good look at it, and just and just adjusting it a little bit. I'm here with Ashley from Apache, and as I understand it, she holds the speed record for the boat. Now, can you tell me about that? Oh, well, I was on the helm and we hit 27 knots on the way to the Cavalli Islands and no one's beaten it yet. That's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I'm here with Grant, but can you talk us through today? We think we've got a sea breeze coming. It looks pretty oily at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, give it an hour or so and we should have something come through. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, you should be able to get some racing. I'm sure we'll race, yeah. At least to the fridge. <laughs> Good point, and we've got plenty of hours. Yeah, and so what, what sails are you running at the moment? We've got a zero, uh, and then this big jib, overlapping jib. Oh yeah, zero should come in handy for some of that uh, bay racing. Yep, I'm sure. We used it yesterday upwind for the bulk of the upwind. It's fantastic. End of day two here at the Bay of Islands Sailing Week and I am with Sooty of Mr Kite. Now you're in B Division and the 40 foot fleet in that is pretty bloody competitive. How are you going so far? Oh, I think we're going uh, kind of as, as expected. We've, um, probably the, we've always been the slowest boat in that division I think and we're sort of just battling around the back, having our good times, getting close at times, but it's pretty difficult, you know, all the boats have sailed very well. There's no free passes out there. Yeah, and it looked like there was, a, I guess, almost a bit of match racing with with uh, Carrera a couple of times. Do you want to, um, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of pride in not coming uh, dead donkey last every race. So uh, pretty nice when we kind of get ourselves into a position and uh, get the shoulders out and defend it. Yeah. Um, and as I understand it, you've got a couple of new new toys for, you know, the front jibs. <laughs> I wonder what you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, well, since uh, the beginning of the year, we've had a couple of new filling sails from Doyle's and new main and a jib. And did you chuck those filling sails up in that bay race? Uh, yeah, we ran the masthead for a lot of it. Yeah. All good. Went well, went well? Always goes well. There you go.
<laughs> it's the end of day two here at the Bay of Islands Sailing Week, and I'm here with Stu from Georgia. And um, mate, how'd you get on today? A uh, tricky day today, sort of middle of the road for us. I think we had a couple of thirds and not sure how the last one panned out. But um, amazing racing as always in the Bay of Islands. Uh, yesterday and today, very sim similar days uh, for the first couple of races, just beautiful breeze. Uh, race committee setting some nice tight courses for us. And this afternoon's coastal actually was super interesting. Uh, wind shifted just before the start, then we had another transition just before the finish. But we had lots of close racing. Yeah, it looked know. it looked pretty um, uh, interesting coming around Black Rocks there at one point. Yeah, it was. It was great. It was, you know, we got mixed up, and the the forty footers started ahead of us today, and we sort of caught up to them around there, and we all got mixed up together. It all got pretty interesting. Um, and then, yeah, we managed to sneak out of there all right, actually, and had a nice lead coming in towards the finish. And then the breeze shut down, and everyone caught up from behind, and the breeze transitioned to, into the south and uh, we didn't quite come out of it as well as we would have liked. But um, yeah, tomorrow's another day. You're coming to the island party, I hope? I don't think we are this evening, actually. Oh, it's just a quiet one then. Yeah, yeah, maybe a quiet one. It's gonna be a massive day tomorrow, it's like 20 plus knots of breeze. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs>Richard Hughes and we're sailing on the Royal New Zealand Navy uh, sail training craft, high air two. So we've been on the, the inner uh, Wilmot Lourdes, uh, done alright the last couple of days. We had uh, a rough day yesterday with the old 180 degree wind shift, but overall we're in a good spot. Yeah, really good, good start to our year. We're uh, part of the leadership development group, so we take trainees out sailing, teach them uh, a bit of leadership, and this is a staff sort of uh, start to the year. Uh, good chance to get some some uh, good racing under our belts before we get into our, our work program for the year. So really good start to the year. Awesome. Yeah, we've got a new number two we're going to hopefully try today. Uh, it's only about two, two, two months old, so that'll be good to get it up and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, really happy with Doyles. Yeah, really awesome. in here at the end of day three of Bay Week up in the Bay of Islands. We're here with Andrew Reed from Anarchy and today was an interesting day. Lots of breeze today, more so than the last two. And what was the B division like, the 40 footers? How was that fleet today? I think that today's racing was why we have boats like Anarchy. Because um, while you can be a bit of a handful getting up to the top mark, we were feeling pretty good because we've got our new um, structured luff um, headsaw on the front end of the boat and it makes it go pretty high and fast. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the top and you, um, you pull out the big gear and off you go at 20 knots down the hill, it's really good. One mistake, you wipe it out and you win these races, I think, if you can keep the mast under the boat more than other people do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So uh, how, was your, how was your week to start with? We had a great week, yeah, yeah. It's, um, got a couple of new sales and um, yeah, got all the crew from Auckland um, that's come up, we've hired a house together and yeah, had a great time. Uh, Tim, how was your week? Good day, free drink. Oh, thanks mate, how was your week? Yeah, it was bloody good. We uh, managed to take out all three, so happy days. And uh, what was the uh, highlight of the week and what was your lowlight of the week? Uh, the highlight of the week was probably realising we uh, had a big knot in the spinnaker on a downwind, which was quite hilarious. And the lowlight of the week was having a big knot in the spinnaker on the downwind. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a reasonably eventful trip up the coast, I'd say. Yeah, so electrical fire, went through the hole in the rock. Um, just generally quite a bit on, really. What do we do? Go on, talk to us. Oh, right, just go down the office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just joined here with uh, Zach Merton of the Mighty Clockwork. How was your week so far, mate? No, it was good fun, eh? Those boats are super even, like, it's good racing. Best. Uh, so you're uh, turning some handles at the back. Are you feeling strong? Uh, quite the opposite, eh? I probably should get in the gym a bit more, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, so what are we thinking on the results so far here, Luke? Oh, it's great. great. You guys happy with your performance this week? Mate, you're still in the corner here, haven't you? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Oh, performance has been been uh, been good. Oldest boat in the fleet, so pretty happy with where we've come. In there with the big boats as well, the big rigs. Ah, oh, don't get us started on that. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have got the shortest rig in the race course, I think. <laughs> shortest rig on the race course, we're on the uh, probably one of the heavier boats as well. <laughs> it's not a lot of effort, though. <laughs> oh, it was a good week. It was a great week, and the racing's been fantastic. They've, um, they put on some good racing and it's been pretty close. So. I think a big shout out to this guy for uh, helping us out on the Anarchy on the night before racing. That's typical with Bay Week for us, so cheers mate. <laughs> Bay Week is not the end of the world. <laughs> Alright, so uh, so first of all, what's, what's your role in Bay Week? Me, I look after all the equipment, but I was one of the founders. Yeah, and uh, I believe you guys found it 20 years ago next year, right? 20 years next, next year, we were talking about in Smoko one time, one day, and this is it. Nailed it. <laughs> bigger and bigger every year. What are you sailing on this week? Um, physical favours. Did you guys win? In our heads. What was your highlight of the week? Um, probably today's racing. That was really cool. That was pretty good fun in the breeze, right? Yeah, it was really good fun. What was your lowlight of the week? Um, yesterday's change of the wind on the finish line because we brought the breeze down and then we lost it. Oh, no way. Yeah. Hey, we all got stuck in that though, hey? Yeah. <laughs> it sucked. Yeah, yeah but it was really cool. <laughs> and action. Well, another three days of Bay of Island Sailing Week has come to an end and it was once again a spectacular regatta that had everybody on the edge of their gunnels. Yeah, we had two days of um, classic Bay Week, drift off in the morning, everyone goes for a swim and then the sea breeze came in and then day three was a bit breezier and uh, changed it up a little bit. I tell you what, this, this regatta actually provides everything for everyone from the parties, oops, that shouldn't be first, the sailing, the parties, the social gatherings, everything. It's just such a really cool, fun week and I can't wait to do it all again. Yeah, and it's really cool, you know, one thing we've really seen is, you know, from the, the 840s that are competing really hard and going, going at it versus the island racing where you've got the kids on the boat and it's really cool to have that range, I think, in a, in a keelboat uh, regatta, you know, there's more people coming to sail. This is one of the best regattas in the world and the premier keelboat regatta in New Zealand. Bay of Island Sailing Week, hosted every year at the end of January. That is a wrap for the 2021 edition, but we will be back next year thanks to Doyle Sales. Cheers. Cheers.